So let's get started. So in cPanel, come down to Apps Installer Scripts, click on WordPress, click Install Now. Choose the domain that you're going to use for this project. In my case, it's how to make money from steamit.com. Leave this bit blank. So where it says in directory, just leave that blank because you're going to set up an actual site on that domain rather than just in a WordPress folder. Add your login credentials. These are the credentials that you will need to log into your WordPress site and then click install and then use this URL here to log into your WordPress panel. Now you need the credentials that you just used in the WordPress setup to actually gain access to your WordPress site. As a point of reference, once you've installed WordPress, you might want to pop over to the domain just to make sure it's installed properly. And if it has, then it will look something like this. So let's begin the demonstration with today's date. As you can see, it's uh, the 7th of August, 2016. So in the WordPress dashboard, the first thing you need to do is install the theme. So over where it says appearance, click themes, add new, upload theme, and then choose file. So drag that one over there, drop and click install. Then click activate. And now if I pop over to the actual site, you can see all of the placeholders there. Now this is done purposely. Um, it allows you to get your site up and running really, really quickly. So there's no messing about uh, configuring and formatting. Everything's done for you. Next, we need to install the plugin. So click on plugins, add new, upload plugin and choose file. So drag that one over there and drop it and click install. Then click activate plugin. And now we're going to fill the site. So we need to click here over on the left hand side where it says vSource. And you can see here that uh, we have the vSource panel. Now this is really, really straightforward and easy to use. So you can see that we're pulling details from both YouTube, Vimeo and Dailymotion. So all you really need to do here is drop your keyword in there. I've sorted a number of keywords that I'm going to use for this particular site. This site's about Steam Cash, as you might remember. So I'm just going to go with this one as the lead. I drop the keyword in there. I'm going to sort by 10. So I'm pulling 10 videos to the site, but you can pull 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 or 30 at a time and then click fetch results. And now if I scroll down here, you can see that the plugin has pulled 10 videos relating to the keyword that I put in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add all of these. So in order to do that, I just click there and you can see all of the boxes are now checked. And then click add selected videos. And because this is a brand new site and there's no category set up right now, it's asking me which category these videos are going to be posted to. But as you can see, there's nothing there. So I'm just going to add one here, how to make money on Steemit and add YouTube videos. So now over in posts, you can see all of the posts that have been pulled. Now, these are actually videos but they appear on the site as actual posts. And I'll show you that in just a second, but I wanted to show you this so as you can, um, you can see what you can do with this plugin. So all of the posts there, 10 of them, you can see that it's pulled the titles from the YouTube videos, and you can see that it's pulled all of the tags. Now this is really useful because all of these videos are ranking for that key phrase, and many of them rank because of the keywords. Now obviously looking for all of those keywords to get your site to rank is a real pain in the neck. But by simply using this plugin, they're all imported straight into WordPress. If I click here, you can see that any content could be added to or edited just like any other WordPress post. And the video thumbnail is used as a featured image which of course you can change if you want to. Now, if you look at this site, you can see it started to fill. It's still a little sparse and there's a couple of things that we need to do next, but you can see it's auto filling. So back into the WordPress dash, click vSource again. And this time we click dashboard. Now in the dashboard here in vSource, what you can do is you can add featured and favorite posts. 
And let me show you how that works. So we'll take Han's video there. We'll take this review here and that one and that one. And we'll add those to the favorite list. And now if I go back over to the site, you can see it's posted them up here. Now I'll add a few more to the featured list. So one, two, and this one over here, click add to featured. And now if we check out the site, you can see that we have something that actually resembles a reasonably good site. Now, obviously this is just a basic, you can go ahead and you can tweak as much or as little of this as you like and add different categories, different videos for different phrases, all relating to the same product. But in this case, because this is just a demo, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And now I'm gonna show you what you need to do next. So back into the dashboard, back into Vsource, and then we click on Video CTA Overlay. Now at the moment, all of the videos on your site are actually linking out of your site and they're not using your link. So right now, what we've done is simply built a curated site, but it's not going to benefit you as it stands. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna overlay each video with our own affiliate link. And by doing this, you're actually using other people's content, other people's videos to fill your site and to help you make a commission. Let me show you what I mean. So the CTA can be used, um, you can put an overlay of an opt-in form on there, or you can simply put a call to action. And a call to action can be anything. It can be a link to your own products, it can be a link to CPA products, or it can be a link to affiliate products. And that's what we're gonna do in this demonstration. So I click there where it says enable call to action setting for blog post. Now this is set up as category wide. So you can have different call to actions for different categories. So if I click there, so we'll select this for how to make money on Steemit, then scroll down. Now this is the CTA timing. So basically what happens here is the video will start playing and it will stop depending on the time that you put in here. So I'm just gonna put 12 seconds. And the text, I've already prepared something there. So I'm just gonna grab that. So something that inspires the reader, viewer to actually click. So how to make money on Steam, Steam Cash, click here. And the external link, now this will be, in this case, my affiliate link. So the affiliate link or the external link, wherever you want it to go, goes in here. So I paste that in there. Video overlay color. You can make this as dark or as light as you want and you can select any color you like. I'm just going to make it almost black. And then the skip button, well, I'm just gonna uh, delete that. So if I uncheck that box, you can see that the skip button disappears and then save settings. And now let me show you how this works. So let's say somebody pops onto your site and clicks one of your posts. So clicks there, for example. And you can see the video here also works as a featured image. We have a link directly underneath it. Now this is your link, all of the content. So all of the content is pulled from the actual video. Uh, this one doesn't have any comments, but if it did, then the comments would be pulled as well. But more importantly, let me show you how this works. So somebody drops onto your site and goes to watch this video here. So if I click there, you can see that the video actually pops up. And you can see Han's video is playing there. And in 12 seconds, it blacks out with our link. So if I then click there, the Steam Cash sales page opens with my affiliate link, cook it to it. So if anybody purchases, I get the commission. And it really is as simple as that.